break out the tissues or the EpiPen for more serious cases. You're just going to auto inject into the thigh. Hold it for 10 seconds. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 common allergies. They were definitely more on his torso, and then it just spread. Right. A pretty classic allergic yeah, reaction, yeah, that second like exposure. An, exactly. For this list, we're taking a look at those allergies that seem most troubling around the world, whether it innocently makes you sniffle or proves to be potentially life-threatening. A ventilator was physically breathing for the boy who was on life support. To be clear, this isn't a quantitative list. It's simply a countdown based on their severity and familiarity. LPS contaminated FELD1 triggers the troll-like receptor 4, an important protein in the activation of the innate immune system. Number 10, shellfish and seafood. Whoa, whoa, are you right? We hate to say that those of you allergic to seafood are missing out, but... A shellfish allergy stems from the body's adverse reaction to various proteins found in a mixture of seafaring animals, including crabs, shrimps, oysters, and scallops. Do not put the scallops in the pan unless it is piping hot, and I mean piping hot. Although they're certainly delicious, they can prove mildly irritating to some, with symptoms including nasal congestion or dizziness, among others. More severe indicators can include airway constriction and loss of consciousness. I can't breathe. Yes, I, I'm a bit nervous myself. Severity varies from person to person, and some may be allergic to certain types of shellfish and not others. The body is weird. Number nine, bee and insect stings. I feel so bad for it. <laughs> But I'm so glad that it's not me. You know how your skin puffs up and gets itchy after a bee sting? Yep, that's technically an allergic reaction coming from the bee venom. And it can be extremely dangerous to some. It's been quite a brute of a brute of a bee sting, this. Reactions typically remain at the site of the sting, and many people experience annoyances like swelling, redness, pain, or itching. While most of us will just wait it out, others are not so lucky. Some experience a swollen tongue, intense vomiting, and even anaphylaxis, which could lead to death. Count yourself lucky the next time you're simply itching an annoying bite. Number eight, penicillin. And how did you get those hives? From the medicine. The penicillin. Penicillin is a group of antibiotics derived from a type of fungus used to treat various bacterial infections, including scarlet fever and pneumonia. While most of the world benefits from this amazing discovery, roughly 0.03% of the world's population experiences severe reactions to the drug. When the body overreacts to the antibiotics, common mild symptoms include rashes, hives, and itchy eyes but can go as extreme as an anaphylactic reaction or blue skin. His skin is blue. Yeah, and blue guy. This is typically treated with an epinephrine shot or even antihistamines inserted directly into the body via an IV. There's a lot of other classes of antibox that we can use when he needs to use them. So, so it's nothing to really be concerned about, but just make sure, you know, every doctor, every nurse, every pharmacist knows right. that he's allergic. Number seven, eggs. That's how you make a perfect fried egg. Whether you try them fried, scrambled, or even raw like Rocky, sometimes there's no escaping the annoying egg allergy. Egg allergies usually stem from the body's adverse reaction to the significant amounts of protein found in egg whites and yolks. It's one of the most common food allergies, with as much as 2% of children in America suffering from it. Fortunately, most will outgrow the allergy by the time they're 16. The majority will simply have mild symptoms like a rash or stomach pain. Some may experience anaphylactic shock, but this is much less common. If you do not respond, you can die. And I'm not talking die in hours. I'm talking within 10 minutes if proper treatment is not given, someone can die. Number six, wheat. So I know quite a lot of people who've got this wheat intolerance thing. A wheat allergy is a tricky thing, as wheat is found in so many different types of foods and beverages, including bread, beer, and even soy sauce and some brands of ketchup. While a wheat allergy is often confused with celiac disease, they are not the same. Those with the disease suffer from an intolerance to a specific protein in wheat called gluten, 
while allergic reactions stem from different types of proteins. It's one of the top eight food allergies in the United States, and symptoms range from a headache to difficulty breathing. I'm not breathing, Jordan. You gotta do something. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Number five, cats and animal dander. Give me the vinegar. While most of the world continues to argue about cats versus dogs, some are unlucky enough that they can never even consider getting either due to allergies. Some estimate that 10% of people in the United States suffer from some form of animal allergy, and cats are twice as likely to be the culprits than dogs. Cat allergies come from a protein in the cat's saliva, urine, and flakes of skin, otherwise known as dander. Most allergic reactions are harmless, like itchy eyes and sneezing, but it's nevertheless annoying, especially when you find the critters so darn cute. It's always my stupid neighbor's cat who's out here, and I just want to do you, you, you big, oh, you're so cute, look at you, oh, that critter face. Number four. Dust mites. Just how clean is your bed? Well, you might be horrified at the things you can sleep with. Most of us will cough or sneeze while dusting, but that is not the same as a dust mite allergy, which is actually much more disgusting than it sounds. Dust mites are tiny little creatures similar to ticks, which live in common household dust. They eat the skin cells shed by humans and proceed to lay waste in the dust. Those allergic to dust mites are actually allergic to their poo. And one mite poops 20 times a day. You do the math because there could be up to Ew. 10 million in your mattress. While most will simply be bothered by a runny nose and sneezing, severe symptoms can resemble asthma, including nasal congestion and wheezing. Better break out the Swiffer. Wow, look at that. Ew. The Tobin stance. Number three, dairy products. Monsieur, à votre famille. A large variety of foods and beverages fall into the category of dairy products, including cheese and milk. Among infants and young children, a milk allergy is the most common food allergy, affecting about 2.5% of children under 3. A dairy allergy differs from lactose intolerance. You what? Lactose intolerant. You're lactose intolerant? Yeah. Oh. Severe diarrhea. An intolerance doesn't include the immune system like an allergy does. In addition, lactose intolerance may include simple bloating and gas, but a dairy allergy may cause much more severe symptoms, including vomiting and anaphylaxis. This allergy is made even more difficult due to the presence of dairy products in seemingly innocent products like store-bought caramel or protein powders. Number 2. Pollen Hey, Troy sneezes like a girl. And how about I pound you like a boy? That didn't come out right. Pollen is a word that most of us fear, especially come early spring when the flowers begin to bloom. For those, spring doesn't mean sunshine and green grass, but tissues and sneezing. A fine powder originating from trees, grass, and flowers, pollen travels through the air. When we inhale this annoying substance, the symptoms break out, including the aforementioned sneezing, as well as watery eyes and itchy throat. <laughs> This is by far one of the most common allergies, with over 17 million adult Americans and more than 6 million children being treated for hay fever in 2012. Ugh, hay fever? Yeah. Before we get to our most annoying allergy, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. Nuts, Tree Nuts, and Peanuts By far one of the most common and dangerous allergies around the world, nuts can be a delicious snack to some, but a deadly food choice for others. Many schools today are now nut-free, meaning that no traces of nuts are allowed anywhere on school grounds. We must specify, however, that a tree nut allergy is different from a peanut allergy, as they are different types of dietary substances as tree nuts are hard-shelled fruits and peanuts are legumes. Regardless, peanuts are one of the most common foods that result in anaphylactic shock and even death. Since he was cleared to eat everything in his peanut-free classroom, he took a bite. 
Then my tongue got itchy and my lip got swollen. Approximately 3 million people are allergic to nuts and peanuts in the United States. And the number of children living with peanut allergies tripled between 1997 and 2008. So save your PB&J for home. Peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly. Do you agree with our list? What allergy do you have? Come on! For more informational top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Oh, <laughs>